Make learning time fun time with Kutu, Ki and Minku. Subscribe now. Snakes and Ladders Kutu and Ki are playing outside. But soon it gets cloudy and starts to rain. The children rush into the house so that they don't get wet. Oh no! What will we do now? I don't think the rain will stop anytime soon. Hmm. I want to go outside to play. Ma hears Kutu and Ki grumbling and walks over to them. How about we play snakes and ladders? Kutu and Ki are confused. What's that? This is called snakes and ladders. It is a board game that has existed for thousands of years in India. It was played by everyone, even the kings and the queens. Wow, it's so colorful. I think cricket is more fun. Hmm. <laughs> Ma laughs and places the board on the table. How about we give it a try and see just how fun it can be? Ma hands out the playing tokens to Kutu and Ki. Ha, ha, ha. I want the pink one. Green for me, please. Ma, what are the snakes and ladders for? Ma smiles. If you roll the dice and land on a ladder, you get to climb it. This brings you closer to the finish line. But if you land on a slithery snake, it will gobble you up and you will fall all the way back down to its tail. Eek, I don't like snakes. If your luck is on your side, you'll climb up, up, up the ladder. If it doesn't want to help you out, your fate is much sadder. Chomp, chomp, chomp. The snake will take a bite down its tummy. You'll go, oh, what a sad plight. It sounds like fun. Let's play. I want to go first. Kutu rolls the dice and moves his token forward. Yay, I can climb the ladder. Now it is Key's turn. Oh no, I missed the ladder. Hmm. Don't worry, Key. You'll have more chances. Kutu rolls the dice again and moves his token forward. Oh no, I landed on the snake. <laughs> Kutu slides his token down to the bottom again. Ow! I get to climb the tall ladder. Ki moves her token all the way up. Mmm, Ki is cheating. I don't cheat. You're just jealous I got to climb the ladder. Now, now, don't fight. This is a game of luck. Anyone can win. You could climb a ladder soon too, Kutu. Kutu closes his eyes and rolls the dice, praying silently. Woohoo! Kutu moves his token up the ladder and he's right behind Ki. Kutu and Ki keep playing and soon they are both close to the finish line. Oh no, there's a big snake ahead. I don't want to be eaten. Kutu rolls the dice and advances forward. One, two, three, four, five. Kutu's token moves past the giant snake and into the final square. <gasps> I won! The snake didn't get me. Thumbs up, silly pup. You did it. Oh, and look Kutu, it has stopped raining. We can go play outside now. Hmm, this is more fun. Can we play again? <laughs> <laughs> Where did Minku go? Kutu and Ki are going to visit an art museum today. They sit in the car with Ma and Papa. Oh, museums are so boring. Can we go somewhere else? News! News! Museum! As they drive into the town, they see their friend Minku walking by, gobbling on bananas. Minku! Will you come with us to the art museum, Minku? Minku follows their car. We're here! We're here! As they enter the art museum, poor Minku is so big, she can't fit through the little door. Kutu is so sad, he begins to cry. <coughs> oh, don't worry Kutu, we'll find a way to bring Minku inside. Come on. 
Inkutu minkutu ki. Let's go. Kutu ki and minku think very hard. What if you walk sideways? Or on your toes? Hey! Where did Minku go? Minku is nowhere to be seen. Maybe she found a way to enter the museum. Let's look for her. They run inside and look everywhere. But where did Minku go? Wait a minute. Is that... Minku? Minku is inside the painting, Kutu. We have to get her. Achoo! <laughs> we look so different. This is a Madhubani painting, an art form from Bihar. It is full of colors and patterns. Now where did Minku go? But Minku has disappeared again. Look, Ki, look. Minku has jumped into the painting next to them. Come on, Kutu. Wow, we are in a Varli painting now. Varli is a folk art from Maharashtra. The people are made up of triangles, circles and lines. Hmm, but where did Minku go? There she is. Wait for us, Minku. Minku is enjoying this so much. <laughs> she is off to the next painting. So Kutu and Ki follow. This is the Gond tribal art from the Gond tribe in India. These paintings are all about the nature that surrounds us. There are so many colors. Well done, Minku. These are the miniature paintings of Kangra Valley. They are full of small details and fine lines. Psst, Kutu, where did Minku go? Kutu and Ki don't spot her anywhere here. Psst, Ki. Look there. A small slender trunk pokes at the miniature painting. <laughs> it's Minku! Achoo! Kutu and Ki are back with Minku in the museum. Thumbs up, silly pup. We found you, Minku. <laughs> <laughs> there you are. We have been looking for you everywhere. We were right here, Ma. <laughs> yes. As they drive home, he decides that she loves museums after all. Ow! Sink, achu. Float, achu. Kutu and Ki are swimming in the lake. Ki loves to make a big <laughs> splash in the water. And Kutu loves all the bubbles. Oh look, it's Minko the elephant. Minko loves to swim too. But today, Minko has a cold. Hey, what was that? That is a ping pong ball and it floats on the water. Whoa, this is a spoon and it sinks in the water. Hmm, shall we play a game? Oh, sink or float, sink or float. A banana floats. <laughs> uh, uh, sink or float, sink or float. A carrot sinks. Achoo. Sink or float, sink or float. A stick floats. Huh? Wow! Sink or float, sink or float. A bicycle sinks. Woohoo! Sink or float, sink or float. A rupee sinks. 
Oh my, sink or float, sink or float. A basketball floats. What about Minku? Will she sink or float? Kutu says sink. Ki says float. Sink, no float. Sink, no float. Look at how she floats. Minku's cold is also much better now. And we know what sings Achoo and what floats Achoo. The Land of Dinosaurs Kutu and Ki are on their way to play with Minku. Hi, Minku! Minku notices that Kutu is wearing something new. That's a dinosaur! Kutu got it as a gift yesterday. Dinosaur, yay! What's that, Minku? You want us to follow you? <gasps> Kutu, do you know what this is? Kutu is not sure. I don't know. This is the time travel trampoline. Jumpy time, yay! Come jump with us, Minku. Wow, the time travel trampoline has become bigger. We have to be careful. If we jump too high, we will go back, back, Oh, where are we? I'm not sure, Kutu. Let's look around and find mm. out. In Kutu Minku to Ki, let's go. Uh oh, Minku has forgotten her hat. But who's this? Wow! Kutu Ki and Minku are on a prehistoric adventure. It looks like we are in the land of dinosaurs. Mm. We have to be very quiet. Wow, what's that? I think that's a triceratops. It has three horns. Tri means three. Bicycle. <laughs> Is a stegosaurus. Can you count the number of plates it has on its back, Kutu? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> Thumbs up, silly pup. Oh, oh, I think we better go back. That looks like a T Rex. I heard they aren't very friendly. Kutuki and Minko might be in danger. Run! Hurry up, Minko! We are just in time. Minko, jump as hard as you can. That was quite an adventure! Ahoo! Look, Minko, your hat! Maybe that's why the T Rex came after us to return your hat. Suddenly, Kutu gets an idea. Kutu wants to thank the dinosaur for returning Minko's hat. Baby T Rex is happy too for making some very, very young friends. Airavat the Elephant It is a bright and sunny day. Kutu and Ki are on their way to visit Minku. 
I wonder what we should do today. Maybe we could go swimming. Ah, we went swimming yesterday. You're right. Let's ask Minku what she wants to do. They find Minku staring up at a tree, looking upset. Minku! Looks like Minku's hat is stuck high up in the tree. She can't reach it. If we work together, we can get it. How did that happen? I got the hat. Thumbs up, silly pup. Good job. Now, how do we get you down? As Key speaks, a gust of wind sweeps around them and it picks Kutu up. Wee, this is fun. That was so strange. But I'm glad you're safe, Kutu. I felt like a superhero. What do we do now? Let's play hide and seek. I'll count. Yay! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come. <laughs> She'll never find me. All of a sudden, there's a cloud above his head. <gasps> oh no! Found you, Kutu. Bad cloud. Now where could Minku be? <laughs> Found you too, Minku. I win. <laughs> Careful, Key. Ah, oh, what's going on? Let's run. What have your children been up to? Why are you soaked? It's raining outside. The clouds were chasing us. Mm, it doesn't look very cloudy to me. Up in the sky, hidden among the clouds. Airavati elephant giggles to himself. He likes helping people out and occasionally causing mischief. He floats away to find someone else to have fun with. If you had fun learning with Kutu, Ki and Minku, don't forget to subscribe now and download the Kutuki app.